is a new world coming. I'm here with Ella. Asa and Finley from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Now, I absolutely adored this book. The main thing that I noticed was actually that Emma and Ola's peculiarity, the fire and the kind of anti-gravity... You're right in there, girl. Been, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> ...have been uh, switched around. So I was wondering, all of you, not just you, how do you feel this actually made a difference for the film and how was it actually acting with that difference? You know, it's sort of strange because I like both versions very much so. Like, the Emma in the book is fiery, mm. but, I mean, I'm, I'm going to compliment you here. I mean, the way Ella perceived uh, Emma as being light and floaty, and I really enjoyed that. It was a different character. Yeah. It, was, it was different in the screenplay, but I couldn't really choose between them. Because yeah. at first I was like, no, nah, Emma with fire, that's way better than, I mean, it's way, <laughs> way better, you know. But as time went on, I was like, it's quite a good character. Yeah. I can see with you know, the blonde and, yeah, it's, it's How good. do you feel? Do you feel it kind of added to the film to make it a bit more unique to the book? I think so. I think it's a really interesting, both one, it's a really interesting image and it's mm -hmm. kind of original. Because we've, a lot, we've always seen people with fire powers, that's, a, that's yeah. been around for a yeah. while. Yeah. Yeah. We never really see someone floating on the end of a rope Up or walking moment. around with huge lead shoes. Yeah, and you've got to wear some awesome shoes. That's exactly. Right. That's, exactly. Uh, and I think Tim just wanted to give something different. And you kept the fiery personality, which I thought was brilliant. Thank you, thank you. I, I had, um, yeah, I, I was, yeah, I was excited when I first found out, to be honest, because everybody wants to play that badass, don't they, that, that plays with the fire and is yeah. all like, <laughs> come at me, you know? But, um, actually, I have to say, I enjoyed, first of all, the process of making an entirely new character that wasn't based on the book. Um, so I just had the script to sort of to, 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 to uh, learn from, not the script. And second of all, to adapt a book to a movie is incredibly difficult, we all know that. And it's never mm. the same, we all know that as well. Yeah. Um, but I think that it's almost a compliment to the book that, that nobody's tried to exactly replicate everything. Yeah. Things have been That's changed for cinematic purposes. And, and actually, when you see it visually on screen, it's so lovely. Personally, for an actor standpoint as well, it gives me a, a bigger storyline. Because if she's already fiery, what can she realise about herself? You know, she's already confident, she's already brave. Mm -hmm. But to actually, to start off a little bit heartbroken, a little bit down, and, and then to sort of realise your own strength and to, to get over those trust issues and to learn you can love again and you are strong and you are brave, I mean that that's the kind of journey that I'd like to that I wanted to play and that I wanted to show a, across on screen. Um and also just I know people were bummed out about it. I know some of the book fans, you know, were unhappy, but trust in Tim, you know? Yeah. And no not a single person in this process was against it. I think everybody was well up for it and I think you need to see the film and yeah. um, and yeah. and just take it as a an adaptation of the book, not an exact rep. That was a brilliant answer. Thank you very Thank much. You. I also want to talk about the whole superpowers um supernatural abilities. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves that, it's been done over and over, obviously Marvel, DC. What's so great about this though is that they're quite dark and quite abnormal, maybe not things you would wish for as a child. Yeah. Um, one in particular is <laughs> Enoch. You're pretty much like yeah. a little Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, so good fun. <laughs> I was wondering with all of you actually, mm. if you had Enoch's power of bringing people back to life just for a little, little moment, what famous person would you bring back, and why? Mm. Bob. Marley. <laughs> Sorry, I realised his name's not just Bob. Bob. <laughs> uh, no, but I would, I would really enjoy to bring back an old musician, you know, that could play just, just to hear someone like Bob Marley live would mean a lot to me. Or even, even Elvis Presley, even though he only played yeah, three chords. Yes. Just someone who is just really iconic and, yeah. Oh, um, I, I agree with I agree with musicians. I mean, it's hard to pick. Bob Marley would be There's amazing. So many greats that we've Prince, yeah. Prince. Amy Winehouse. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, yeah. this is making me depressed. Oh, oh no! Oh, I know. Oh man. I think it's some actors, and actresses. Some, actresses. some amazing actors and actresses who have. Marilyn. Yes. Classic. Uh, Christopher Lee. Have another chat with him would be cool. I got to work with him once. Uh, oh, nice. He's a cool guy. Um, That's cool, yeah. He'd be missed. Oh. He played a uh, Keep it like. Keep it like. <laughs> 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 like, like steadily, <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> and then, okay, last question. So uh, you've probably been asked this a thousand times, but out of all the people, which peculiarity would you want the most? You might not want any of them, but you have to choose one. Thanks, Hugh. Uh, why? Because <laughs> you stole my well, last one. I'm still one. sticking to fire. Okay. 
Go on. Yeah, um, well, I'm going to agree. I think Hugh's got the coolest power. Think of another one. No. Yeah, I want, that's I want the rule, mate. Oh, that is the rule. What do you think? So okay. it's too I, don't, I don't make the rules, I just follow them. So and, one. and I, I want, I want it's taken. Power. Can't be two Hughes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Can't be two Hughes. <laughs> is there a second if, best if, if, if it wasn't, Hugh? If it wasn't Hugh, it would be Millard. Millard. Millard is okay. Awesome. Yeah. Pretty have to be naked all the time. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no one would see, though, so how would they know? True, true. All right, thank you very much, guys. It's been cool. a pleasure. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Cheers. Stop nicking my answers. I didn't nick <laughs> any of your answers. You knew I was going to go for Hugh, and now that's why I took it You knew I was going to go for Hugh.